Hello, everyone, and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Wes, and I'm the host of the Basement Dwellers podcast. We are a bi-weekly podcast dedicated to all activities most enjoyed by those who spend their time in the deepest, the darkest, and the dankest of basements everywhere. Um, up until now, we've been an audio podcast, but uh, due to life getting in the way, we have had to kind of try to come up with something that uh, works a little bit better for us. And I think, I think we've found it, and that is uh, broadcasting live. So uh, what you're about to see is going to be our first episode uh, recorded on the, the 6th of May. Um, but I just wanted to do a short uh, intro video to let you know that um, we had some technical technical difficulties, um, one of which is uh, my computer decided decided to blue screen right in the middle of everything. Uh, so uh, you'll, you'll notice that. And the other one is that uh, we did not stream in HD. So I know that's a cardinal sin when it comes to streaming. So um, if you are joining us for the first time, uh, don't judge us yet. Uh, so without further ado, our first episode on live. Uh, TBD Live 2.0, the sequel uh the revenge um i don't know anyway here we go all right <laughs> so here we are <laughs> uh let's see here let me it's been a long time since i've done this so uh, uh hello everyone and uh welcome to the basement dwellers 2.0 uh, we are a bi-weekly podcast dedicated to all activities most enjoyed by those who spend their time in the deepest the darkest and dankest of basements everywhere. I'm your host, Wes Tanner, and we are live on Facebook. And this is the first time that everyone has gotten to see me do that face-to-face, uh, -face kind of. Um, so I'm joined by my fellow basement dwellers, Nick, Ron, Drew, Chris, and JJ, and Peterson. Um, <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah. So how's it going, guys? How's it going? So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. I'm essential. Hey, me yeah. too. Now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what a crazy world now. Uh, I was lucky enough to. I just got my new job and like not even a couple weeks later, I'm working from home. So <laughs> yeah. Nick, your, yeah, eye, okay. <laughs> your eyes are tricking me. Job. Wait, what? I thought you just got yeah. back to it. I did, but their GE is cutting 25% of their aviation uh, force. So, uh, yeah. so they're yeah. like, here, you can have another paycheck and get off unemployment for a week and then be unemployed. Go, go back. And then be unemployed in the next month or so. Sick. Yeah. Sick. Well, it's not pretty working baller. is pretty choice. I mean, <laughs> if I had a choice between like not working and working, I'd always choose not working. Yeah. Oh, I hate it not working. Not work. Oh, yeah, or just not doing it at all. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. It's an easy sell for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like we have five viewers. So, hello, five viewers. Yeah. I'm not Sick. sure how many of, of them are us on our phones or what, but... They're from uh, our... Uh, on my phone. It's from my OnlyFans page. From your OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fans only? Yeah. Fans? Yeah. They better be paying you monthly fees. Yeah, are. that's how it works. Thirty dollars a month. You know, I Damn, never. Damn, baby. Better be getting some good feet pics for thirty bucks a month. Yeah, no doubt. That's expensive. There, there, there's a feet wiki. If you ever want to get freaked out, go there. <laughs> you, you would, you would know that. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you of all people. Like you, you, you would literally that would know that. You yeah. can literally search any, like even like D-list celebrity and up, and you would find pictures of their feet on there. Oh, I'm gonna search a D list, but it's not. I don't that. like feet though. Like, I'm... <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't. I, I don't like feet either. I'm not like condoning it. I'm just saying to be. Hey, I'm not judging cool. you. If you like feet, you like feet. That's yeah, just that's your thing. That's. Your I don't thing. understand the appeal. Neither do I. Feet yeah. to feet. Yeah. You just never had a good FJ. They're like yeah. just weird. <laughs> 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 okay, so downhill, subpar. <laughs> yeah. You only had bad ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just look at my best. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
so welcome back yeah so <laughs> it's, this is feeling like old times already kind of in a weird way but this is just like our group chat yeah this is literally our group chat but yeah. just live yep except without all the the memes but uh oh you're gonna get some memes uh oh <laughs> okay um, <laughs> so the whole idea i'm well let me preface this but just by saying that uh um it is fantastic to uh not only be talking to you guys but to kind of be looking at each other despite the fact that like we can we cannot do that in person right now um but True. uh coincidentally it kind of just gave me the idea to kind of just do the show like this from now on regardless of whether we can get together or not um so uh those of you out there lots of beards on here <laughs> Hello, Cam. Or I don't know if I'm supposed to use your real name, but nobody knows who oh, Cam is. Up. Mobius. <laughs> <laughs> I also appreciate Whoops. the fact that. Uh, Good, Ron's... you just got a murdered, you asshole. <laughs> right? Ron's face has frozen and is permanent. Yeah, like... he's doing that on purpose. <laughs> okay. Every it's time you. Uh... Thing that I found out. Yeah, every no, time you navigate it, away like... from the zoom window, yeah. it freezes your face in place. So. That's you can still hear me. And it's hilarious. It is. And I love it. That's I was just like, face. oh, man. Man, what a what dedication to the craft. But yeah, it's three Ron minutes. smells burnt toast. <laughs> <laughs> um, can no so, the ABCs. So, so anyway, to get back to it, um, this is kind of going to be the show from now on, <laughs> with va oh. varying degrees of uh, quality, I suppose. But <laughs> but uh, as far as the format goes, um, but what this will allow us to do is uh, what like we're going to do here in a little while is we're going to actually watch a trailer for awesome video game coming out and we're going to talk about it as opposed to making sure everybody watches it before we start recording so we can talk about it now we can all do it in real time um we're gonna probably play some games at some point not tonight but uh, eventually um just because this this uh facebook live format is going to open up some avenues for us to uh do some cool things so uh looking forward to that um pull up my notes here what else do we got to talk about before we we launch into things oh it's already up on the other screen i'm getting used to the fact of having like four different monitors around me <laughs> so... you literally have a whole wall it's like the matrix i know it's I great <laughs> i love it um king in the castle king in the castle <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> let's see here as far as the actual schedule for the show um we're gonna try and keep it bi-weekly um what day that will be might vary a little bit between a couple different days, but right now it's Wednesday, so we're rolling with that. Um, and uh, obviously we're live on Facebook, so if you can see this, all four of our viewers right now, that's not bad. I like that. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we can, let's, those rookie numbers, we'll pump that up. But uh... only, only winners get coffee here. What? It's a good thing I don't like coffee. Though. Yeah. <laughs> More coffee. I'll for take your coffee. Forever, Coffee's for closers. Forever not a winner. But um, but yeah, we're on Facebook, so uh, share this around. Um, feel free to uh, ask us questions, uh, and uh, we would like to to see and hear your thoughts on um, the new uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer, which we will be watching here in like one minute. So one. No, not one minute. I would like to hear what you guys have been up to since, God, last October, I believe, was the last thing we did as TBD. Does that sound I right? So. I think so. Okay. Yeah. So if you could remember back to a far away time, nope. 2019. In the in the before time. In the before, you mean, yeah. You mean the golden age of, of in, life in society? Back when the things were of kind of Lord. normal, you know? Um. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Redacted, let's start with you, man. You're in my top left. Oh, and everybody's left. top left. Uh, late. I've just been writing, man. I mean, my walls are covered. Yeah. I wish yeah. we could show a picture of what you showed no, us. Good. Like... Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. I'm in that game. I don't want spoilers. No, no, no. I'm still in that game, no. You, you can't read it, <laughs> but you can just have a glimpse into like what his... Well, to be fair, Jerry, process? can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he probably didn't write it either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just ripping pages out of the dictionary oh, and pasting them under the wall. 
Yeah. Uh, these are words. I've seen them before. <laughs> Put them on my wall. Isn't there some these theory? Symbols, I've seen them somewhere before. Isn't there some theory that if you if you lock like well, you know, I guess you don't have to lock them, but if you put like uh, monkeys on a computer, like given enough time, they'll eventually write Shakespeare. Has anybody yeah, heard that? You sent a monkey. What's that? Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I'm just saying it. it could be like that in a little bit in an accelerated form. So right? if we put enough Jeremy's in the room, they'll <laughs> they'll create a monkey. <laughs> they'll eventually. Then the CIA I mean, will be called. Yeah. Are you not looking in a picture of him right now? Hey, oh, wow. Wow. that's fair. No, it's fair. <laughs> We're all pretty ape-like right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I've never seen a ginger monkey though. Yeah. <laughs> or a orangutan. It's yeah. Not a <laughs> okay. A it's different. So oh, enough man, about Peterson. Ape. Let's move on to the the top right the top right corner of my screen. We're kind of like the Brady Bunch right now. JJ, how you been doing, man? Good. Um, just plugging away at my YouTube channel, and uh, right now working from home. But uh, I yeah. mean, I, I you know, I wish I could tell you some big life altering thing hits. Well, you know what? I got a new job in in January, and, which is nice. So and I'm working, uh, you moved I'm working too, in the didn't tech you? field finally. Uh, yeah, I moved to a new place. I got a cat that is sleeping in my lap right now. And uh, what that you is a big news. <laughs> what? What that are you drinking? Big news. I'm drinking whatever the hardest stuff is. Because I'm, I'm a <laughs> sick. Because you're a man. man. Weed whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> whiskey weed. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I That's do great. enjoy snorting the whiskey weed. Yeah. <laughs> Our... <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, P Peterson, are you uh, are you back to drinking your weird concoction? Your, uh... No, I just see this time. Just what? Straight pee. Oh, wiki. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, let's see here. Um, moving kitty corner down to the scowling face on the left. Nicholas, how you been doing, man? Pass. Pass. <laughs> I'd like to go to directly to jail, please. You you got your own place. Yep. I did. Sick. <laughs> all right. <laughs> cool. It's all right. Okay. Good job. All right. <laughs> Love okay. you, dude. All right. <laughs> uh, center screen, uh, Mr. Andrew. How's it going, man? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, don't. Yeah. Don't just do what Nick did. What? <laughs> I, I really haven't been doing anything. It's literally been like six well, months, five or six months because of math. I, I can't. I literally haven't been doing much. I've written a couple of D&D one shots. And you got a podcast going, right? Yep. I did start a podcast with Ron and Nick and not this Chris, but a different Chris. Yeah. This Chris has been Chris, on Chris. it. Chris phony <laughs> baloney pants. Chris with a K, not Chris with a C A. Yeah. What what kind of sick twisted parents stand there Chris with a kiss with Chris with a The joke's gone. <laughs> <Fine>. Continue on. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Take a shot. Official beer. Right. Okay. Or a whistle. It's not a beer. Who said that? Who said that horse shit? <laughs> Who, who needs Chris? to get their pee pee slapped? We're 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 don't back. Don't slap my pee pee. <laughs> uh, I will slap your pee pee so hard. Gonna need. Uh... Oh jeez, hold on. Like oh, you guys geez. are making geez. promises. There's so many pee pees. Yeah. Promises, promises. <laughs> Let's see here. Right post. Live again. Live again. <laughs> How many lives are we gonna be? No, this should be the second one. Nine. Third one? Yeah, nine. Yeah. No. A hundredth. Okay. Kitty cats. Meow. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's so see. Do we... Live again. Are, we, are yeah. we sharing things or you already got it? No, go ahead and share again. But God are, damn it. But we are alive. So. <laughs> Hooray! Don't act I like. Mean. Just don't act in a, a fashion that. Would suggest that we're not lying. Just don't <laughs> be yourselves, guys. You know? <laughs> oh, yes, Say these it. are completely live actions, and I think yeah. that we are all going to have fun. I'm so we're happy live. To be here. Everybody, put your porn away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's minimize those windows. Let's not broadcast 
German dungeon midget porn to Facebook. You live your life, I'll live mine. How about that? <laughs> what if it's not German? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Then it's all good. Because only Germans are bad. So That's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> Send it, bud. <laughs> anyway. So. Uh, let's hope that this is the right one. Yep. We'll go yeah. ahead and uh, let's... Uh, no. Are we, are we on? What? I think so, yeah. We're good. Good to go. If you hear me, say fuck. 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 Okay. Fuck. All right. Let's 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 talk about the fuck dungeon later. Here. Let's see. Age. Well, let's check my personal profile. Do <laughs> again. Okay. Why did Wes you all is, of a sudden shift into a Mickey the, Mouse voice? I don't the know. The internet went down, but he was really going to Chris's OnlyFans. <laughs> what? Yeah, what I was. We to do? <laughs> he wanted I to was, see those feet. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're back. All right, good. We're back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only feet. The only feet. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, now. Totally. yeah I know. Really. For real. Right. Okay. I think well, I shared the right one. I think you did. Hooray! Let's open a beer because the situation calls for it. Um. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Ah. Okay. So where did we leave off? Uh, did we did we start? No. <laughs> I, I you were saying something, and your face just went like this. Oh, I was trying to. Uh, Mobius posted something funny thing about Nick, and I was in the middle of reading it when my computer decided to blue screen on me. That's the prophecy. Uh -oh. You can't read it. Prophecy. Yep. It's Forbidden it's lore. Secrecies. Uh, I'm kind of it's okay with that. Action, because, oh, it was funny though. It was something about Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. It was associated with me, <laughs> yeah. Oh, eight viewers. Nice. All right. Great. We you just doubled your videos. We man. doubled our numbers huh? in the when span died, of. My browser history. <laughs> 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 Did you say delete it or post it? I heard it. Oh, oh yeah, post. totally post it. Just post. burn my computer. Um, okay. <laughs> so, Christopher. Yes, sir. We'll move on to you, man. What have you been up to? Oh, we'll man. get through this, guys, and then we'll we'll start oh. watching the trailer and do what we came here to do. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, been a, it's been a whirlwind for me. I mean, I've, yeah. I've stayed, with, uh, stayed with my company, but I went from, like, I got, like, three promo promotions and, like, Promotion. Promotions. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I, I just kept moving up, like, super fast. And now I'm, moving uh, on up. Yeah, now I'm, uh, now I'm in sales, so it's kind of... So, congrats, dude. Nice. Wait, yeah. when the hell did that happen? I thought you were, like, driving around. No, 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 I've never... Okay, so I do drive around, but I don't deliver yeah. product. Oh. Yeah, I I was a merchandiser gotcha. for Terry Dr. Pepper, so I just went in to fill their shelves. And then I got on our reset team to go like reset shelves whenever they change. But now yeah. I'm a like I'm a relief account manager, so I'm like the fill in guy for when people take their vacations. All right. And eventually I will get my own route whenever that happens. You Woo. bad bitch. All the blackjack and yeah. hookers you can <sighs> care for. Oh yeah. Totally. All of it. Oh, and I bought my house. Yep. Hey. Hooray! Hey. Nice. Yep. Yep. Bought my house in December, so. Congrats, dude. Thank you. Thank Very you. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Nice to. I mean, six months is a long time, or a uh, short time for all this stuff to change, but. Uh, um, it's been a whirlwind. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ron. I think we're on to you, man. Yes. What have you been doing? Uh, let's past see. Six months. I, well, I stopped working in restaurants for a little bit so I could have like a more steady schedule. Um, I'm actually working Nick's old job uh, as the pro loader at Home Depot, and because he's now in pro garden section. Loader. Yeah, oh, so I sweet. load that. <laughs> load like that. Pro. Pro. I load it like a pro. <laughs> it's it's glorified for lot position. That's fine. Yeah. I, or do you I handle loads of, like a pro? I, I I take care of carts and loads. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> lots of loads. <laughs> lots of loads. <laughs> <laughs> heavy, heavy, full, full loads. Um, no, last last week uh, our basement flood, so flooded, so that sucks. Oh boy, now um, I'm in the basement now, but it's pretty dry and also empty. 
for those who had, <laughs> had seen it before well no for those who had seen it before like it was actually kind of like a dope little like den living area oh yeah man now it's fairly empty because we moved a lot of stuff around i built a new shelving unit just so i could put stuff off the ground in case our basement floods again all right nice did it flood in preemptive did, did it flood into the room where where nick was staying yes oh this did you, well, you locked like, out last nick. year <laughs> <laughs> well last year or the year before no it was last year right before nick moved in uh we had the backyard leveled because it was the backyard was facing towards the house and it would flood the basement so we got that fixed but now it's flooding from the front of the house and just goes everywhere <laughs> yeah quit and trying to fix just, problems just just let it yeah. happen start, apparently that's the solution yeah turn, turn your basement down, into a over. swimming pool <laughs> <laughs> at least the uh <laughs> reefy bathroom yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it, all congregate, it all congregates in there in the bathroom like two inches of water in the rapey bathroom oh it's to clean up the juices God. <laughs> I'm not saying it isn't. So, <laughs> I suppose that leaves me. And the biggest thing that happened in in my life is I finally graduated college. Uh, yeah, yeah. My damn good job too. They did bachelor's. <laughs> 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 my bachelor's degree in uh, business administration and marketing. But uh, anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to, whatever this clicking noise apps, um, we are going to, uh, watch the, the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer, um, and, uh, give our thoughts on that once this is over. So, uh, bear with us as we deal with the hassles of technology and then, uh, get to it. So just a moment. Are you going to restart your computer again, or...? Ouch. <laughs> You're poking people in the eye. Oh. transfer that over yeah xbox i know for real come on here we go and show there we go here we are all right and here we go Awesome song.
fucking dude dead. Just realized I muted the audio. Sorry, stream. <laughs> oh god, that's cool. Got him. Oh, yes. Okay, so for starters, I hope they have decapitations. Oh, that. Damn. Well, they got headshots, so. Uh... This is. Yeah, I mean, in the gameplay, I hope they allow, like. Dismember them. I sound like a psycho. I hope they allow you to cut people's heads and limbs off. So... <laughs> I feel like if this is the most. If this is the most violent Assassin's Creed, I don't even want to play it. Yeah. Yeah, this one doesn't seem like you're supposed to be stealthy. Yeah, he is. God damn it. Why don't they make movies like this? You mean good? Like, like in CG. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah. <red> done. <laughs> he was the Assassin Creed all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh West, shit! Do you mean like the CGI? Yeah. Okay. So like. Uh, what was that one that came out? Uh, the... With... Shit. The epic poem. The what? Beowulf. Beowulf. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank like you. Okay. Yep. Hold on a moment. Here we go. So, so the King's like the Hand guy violent. really looks like Jeremy there. Oh, wow. Thanks. Who's it? What's up? I thought it was much more attractive. Oh. Ron, are you frozen or are you just off the screen? Off screen. Okay. So, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's uh, let's hear some thoughts, guys. I mean, I think we kind of shared some during the middle of it, but um, first, who is it? Anybody here not played any Assassin's Creed games before? Uh, I've kind of played a little bit of the first oh, one, but Chris. Oh. I tried playing the first one way back in the day. Like I think I rented it, and then I only had it for a few days, and I was like, "Oh well, I'll rent it again sometime." And then first I never. One's rough. You should yeah. definitely play Odyssey. Oh yeah, That's Odyssey's what... amazing. That's what Odyssey I've been hearing. Is the legit. Yeah, I'm in the middle of that one right now. I finally finished uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, which takes place in ancient Egypt, and that game absolutely blew me away. Just for the the. Uh, the pure fact of being able to climb the pyramids like that in itself was just amazing. So I'm really hoping that this one, they're actually, I hope they keep the direction they're going as far as including a lot of uh, historical destinations and mm -hmm. keep the aesthetic that they've, they've had in the past two games that they've had since they uh, yeah. um, started doing like way more like historical uh, depictions um, yeah. So I think they've yeah. definitely kind of been on that right track lately, especially with uh, Origins and Odyssey. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so, like I said, I've 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 always thought they were interesting games, but you know, I I, I tried to get into it and I just couldn't. And then after that, I went through this whole phase of, well, do I hold on to sixty dollars for food and rent, <laughs> yeah. or do I? Do I waste it on a game? I have no idea if I'm gonna like it or not. So I went through this really like <laughs> penny pincher phase on video games. I had to well, like know I wanted it. Yeah. Well, what's nice about Odyssey, you get to Spartan kick everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, the biggest change that they went through with the games is that they they took it from I don't know what you would call it, just like an action adventure game. They took it from that to 
or on like a parkour simulator, but they they took it from all of that and they they turned it into like an actual like RPG, like yeah. with with, okay. with Origins I think was the first iteration of that, and they uh, um, added like um, color coded loot and like pro- a progression system and everything like that, which interesting was not hmm. was not in the other games. The other games are great. Um, but uh, the the feel of them is a lot different compared to the new ones, and okay. uh, I, I'm cool. I'm just hoping that it continues on with Valhalla, and um, shit's freaking out. Hold on, there we go. You're good. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, so it's trying to drop a beat. Maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, JJ, let's hear from you because you're kind of you, you run a gaming channel. Have you have you kept up with the Assassin's Creed games? Uh, so yes and no. I, I have this thing where I like to, um, if I am late to a series, which I was with the Assassin's Creed series, um, I like to play it from the beginning, just so I can see the. I'm I'm a total dork when it comes to this. seeing the evolution uh-huh. um, from the beginning up until the current you know iteration. I'm doing the same thing with the Dragon Quest series. I started from the beginning and I'm working my way through wow. that. Um, I and I, I love seeing like the improvements that are made and the changes and the directions they took and that kind of thing um, and I am I haven't played uh, any of the new ones but I am on I played the first one which I thought was okay and then I heard how much better 2 was mm-hmm. and that whole the, the whole Ezio trilogy and it I, it blew me away it's a- absolutely spectacular like if you thought the first one was, was alright or you weren't a fan of it or something like that try Assassin's Creed 2 because it is infinitely better it is amazing okay. um and then i've also played the remaster version of uh three as well as uh some of the the side spin-off games that are that are a little bit smaller and lesser known um and i i honestly i have a blast with them every time i play them they're really really like they're good time wasting games where you can just go in do a few missions and then off and and, and whatnot mm-hmm. that's what kind of like really excites me about the the newer ones is because i know like you were saying they're, they're more rpg style and open world and um i've heard them compared to like breath of the wild and that kind of thing um and so i'm really really excited to see like just how deep these are and especially like um when it comes to valhalla the newer one uh i just as a heads up i don't know if you mentioned this but they're actually showing right now um if you're not watching this live it's the 6th of may uh tomorrow the 7th they're showing gameplay uh for for it um, awesome. So we'll be able to see that. Um, yeah. But I, The Witcher Three is one of my favorite games of all time, and Me one of, like my favorite part by far is when you go to Skellige, and it's all like Viking inspired, Norse inspired, that, that kind of thing, and it's really really cool just mm-hmm. getting to sail around these different islands and 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 just like the atmosphere and and I just love it. Um, so Me that's too. the kind of vibe I'm getting from this, and so that just makes me super excited to, to you know sink my teeth into it. Yeah. Okay. So. As far as the trailer itself, those of you who haven't played it before, do you think it's something that uh, that uh, would kind of pull you into the series? Because, you know, I'll be honest with you, despite JJ's tendency to want to play through all of them for for his own reasons, um, a lot of the, the Assassin's Creed games, especially the newer ones, you can jump in and out. You don't have to know the story leading up to it or anything like that. They're kind of standalone games. So what would, what would you uh, what would you say about the, the hype for uh, for this one? Does, does it pull you? Um, uh, if I had never seen an Assassin's Creed game before in my life and saw this trailer, I would be like, mm, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. See, I'm on, I'm kind of the like middle other side of that where I'm like, that looks fun. Like it, it's just a cinematic trailer. And I know a, a little bit about Assassin's Creed. And I'm like, I'd give it a try, but I don't know if it's something that I would, you know, buy day one. Right. I, I think I, I think I wouldn't pre-order. Yeah, that's it's like one of those games that I'm gonna get, but I won't get it until like Black Friday when it's they get discounted really twenty quickly. bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, but I think for me like, it's I like can't... I. I... Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say like the the appeal is I love that Norse mytholo- mythology. I love Vikings. Same. Like Same. that draws me too, in but... so fucking hard. Yeah. I can't justify dropping like seventy dollars on a game that I only get to play one or two days, like a week, if that. 
Yeah. Like that's, that's a fair. big that's a big like problem that I have with games at least because like you get a game like that where you almost have to sit down daily and play it for a little bit just so you don't forget what's going on in the story. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't get to do that. That's why I play lots of games that are like sports games and stuff where it's right. there's no story to it. It's just yeah. play the game. Well, the, the the big thing with the with the new ones is um they became a lot more sandboxy. Like um they they do have an overall uh a plot that drives them, but for the most part, like I remember going into Assassin's Creed Origins and part of the reason one of the many reasons why it took me forever to complete was just that there was just so much you can do. And it's kind of like Skyrim or like any of the Elder Scrolls series where you have the main plot and if you just want to play that, you're going to finish it in what, like 20 hours, 25 hours, something like that. Basically, yeah. But if you sit there and go um, just, you know, infinitely just whatever direction you want, then the game can easily last you 100 hours. Um, uh, I've, I've yet to beat Skyrim, like the main game. I always get sidetracked with all the... <laughs> side stuff and then i'm like shit yeah. what am i even supposed to do yeah. and then i have to that's restart that's the game you just go that's start a farm you, somewhere in the mountains or you <laughs> accidentally yeah. kill, kill someone that's supposed to be part of the main story mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you get that little message that's like oh well you killed so and so and you can no longer beat the game it's like oh, oh yeah oh that's some yeah. bullshit yeah, yeah. Um, like I say when I play Skyrim, I uh, just chop wood mainly, and then go, <laughs> and get bed, go to bed, get up and do the same thing the next day. Yeah, I, I bet, you, bet you were wood. swole. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> swole. Um, Do you even lift, bro? So uh, uh, it says chopped wood, but he doesn't mean like trees. He was uh... a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> um, to draw some attention to the uh, the chat right now, um, first question here is so. The top three Assassin's Creed games for those of you who have played them that you would recommend for someone, I'm assuming, who hasn't played them before. Um, if any of you have an opinion as far as like the order that you would play oh, in. Oh, yeah, them. I do. Yeah. No, oh, you don't. Be, uh, Red Dead 1 and then <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'm over. I've, I'm I've over that. Yeah. Any, I've um, never played any of the Red Dead Redemption. Oh, oh dude. they're so, so good. You're missing good. out. Yeah. Those are fun. Nick, what about, next video, what about you, but... man? Can you take that question? As far as recommendations go, have you played enough Assassin's Creed games to be able to recommend three? Who? You, me? Nick? I'm oh, Nick. oh. Uh, yeah, you're not Nick. Uh, I've only really played two of them, to be honest with you. I played the first one and Odyssey. Oh, man. Okay, so you got basically like, the, the whole yeah, span of the to, experience. Yeah, to be fair, like, I played the first one and I was like, this is okay, I guess. And I saw the trailers, and I saw the hype for all the others. I was like, eh. And then I picked up Odyssey. I was like, (laughs) because the last few years they've been like, I just, it just kind of felt like it was playing the same game. And maybe I'm, I'm way missing the mark. I I don't know. I just felt like all the others were basically copy the first couple. They're kind of like Call of Duty, where this the the next iteration comes out, and they have they bring in so many familiar elements from the past games, and then you know the story changes. But really, once they they got to Origins, is when they really when they introduce like the RPG system is when they really like this is the Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be. from everything that I've read in the same vein as far as more RPG as opposed to how the, the older games were. Um, yeah. So Mobius, to answer your question, at least from my point of view, um, really I would pick like a historical time period that you would be interested in visiting because the entire series pretty much covers, um, well, literally from one of the earliest civilizations in Egypt um, all the way through, uh, well, um, um, 1800s what's that yeah with uh, War. War. yeah oh yeah yeah yep. yeah well then there's uh there's uh syndicate which takes place in in uh industrial revolution in london um do, oh, yeah. do any of them take place in japan not yet that's not been yet. one of the that's been one of the settings that people have been really asking for they really that need might one. Get me. yeah that might get me yeah because like the the whole appeal for the like origins odyssey valhalla 
if they keep following that trend, I could get behind. Like I could start seeing myself falling in love with the series. Yeah. Um, it reminds me a lot of like the, the most recent iterations remind me a lot of um, For Honor in a way. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I love <laughs> For Honor because of you know the different characters you can choose from. Uh, I just I like when I saw Valhalla, it reminded me a lot of For Honor. I was like, oh, I love that game. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think. Heck yeah. Didn't no, like like I said, I'd be interested in, t- in like playing it and trying it. Yeah. Um, and if a demo comes out for it, for whatever reason, like I'll probably download the demo and give it a try. Mm-hmm. Um, though I did hear that uh, you'll be able to like, upgrade your uh, your longboat. Oh yeah. In different ways. Yeah. Like, your longboat's customizable. I don't know. I think well, it's they started. Of... They started introducing that in. Origins and Odyssey, didn't they? Oh, well, Black Flag, yeah. Black Flag, oh, Black yeah. Flag. Yeah, the yeah. pirate ship. Yep. I don't know about before Jesus, that. Jesus, there but... are so many assassins. I know. Games. Yeah, there really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's that's kind of the the thing with EA. You know? And I think that's another thing that kind of turns me off a little bit is if it's going to be like a live service, microtransaction heavy kind of game. That I don't know, like. Oh, this Sometimes is this I'm is like, Ubi, well, Ubisoft. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was still an EA uh, title to go with it. If they were the I publishers, think, no. I don't think so. I think, U- I think Ubisoft so. is their Ubisoft. their own deal. Ubisoft. Okay. Yeah. Well, like that shows how much I know. Um, I just I don't know. Like like I said, new new games nowadays, unless they specifically say there are zero microtransactions, everything is cosmetic. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm more apt to do that, but I think you'd probably like the, and I've only played like two of them, but I think you'd probably be more interested in the newer ones, like Origins, yeah. Odyssey, Valhalla. I okay. think that's more your speed. Like, I think that'd be your bag. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're more RPG oriented. Yeah. And the other ones are, I don't know, like what genre you would consider those. I, I, I still think like action, action adventure. Action yeah. Adventure. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. that uh, that that'd be my take on it too. It sounds like everyone else agrees. Um, oh yeah. So yeah. Okay. So let, let's let's shift gears a little bit here before we uh, we start to wrap things up. Um, when it comes to the trailer, when you when you view it, and if you were to look at that as well, obviously this game is coming out. Like, what do you want to see from it? Like, even those of you who haven't played Assassin's Creed before, like if to, like to be honest, like the newer games, one of the biggest criticisms they've received from Assassin's Creed fans is that they're not like Assassin's Creed games. Like they're kind of their own thing with the Assassin's Creed label. So look yeah. at like watching this trailer. What would you hope from an open world, like heavily uh, lore based Viking game, like what this appears to be? Uh, first and foremost, historically accurate. Yeah. Um, as far as the apparel, um, no horn the weaponry, <laughs> the, the ships, mm-hmm. um, the hairstyles, you know, all that stuff. I, I, I would argue with that, actually. I would say that uh, for the vast audience, uh, it should be Hollywood accurate. That it will give you the most appeal. Why? Because you need <laughs> the larger audience and not just family. And Peterson's oh. being a troll. What do you, what do you mean by Hollywood? No, no d- d- just let him ride. Let him dig his own grave. <laughs> <laughs> Take the shovel. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you think of Vikings at least traditionally with like horns on their helmets, and we know historically that's not true. Yeah. Right. So like that sort of thing, you're gonna want to see a couple of those, otherwise you might lose from your audience. Do we? I don't think so because. Well, Think think of like the the show like Vikings, which is like exactly. one of the we biggest never, shows ever. It's huge. And seen. it's and it's well okay, well it's like the History Channel's Game of Thrones. Yeah. But yeah. it's like it's exactly. historically accurate. Like it's, mm, no, it's, not. Not. it's it's well, I mean it's closer than most Hollywood movies. So I wouldn't call I wouldn't say I would wish for historically accurate, but just kind of um because well to a certain degree, somewhere yes. What's that? Somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Well, I would just say because I think what I what I'm hoping that this game kind of goes into, and I feel like 
even though I haven't played a lot of it, I feel like they started to kind of explore this in Odyssey was to kind of introduce like the mythos. Like, you know, when they showed uh, the Odin figure turning into a raven and everything like that, that tells me that they might be trying to uh, introduce like actual like spiritualism and magic and stuff like that, like a more fantasy side of the history of the Vikings, you know what I mean? Like that's that's kind of the the vibe that I get. Um, whereas opposed to like the older games and even Origins to a certain extent, like well not Origins, but the older games were more just like no nonsense. This is what they had during the time period. This is the well, technology this, they had. It was, it was also like a flashback. If I remember from the first and like the little bit that I know, it took place in a near future setting and then they were using technology to like dive yeah. deep yeah. into yep. the person's brain yeah have they have they gone away from that no like, they they've they've definitely decreased it okay, like the yeah. the focus on it like um an origins like um i don't have a whole lot of of experience between the first couple assassin's creeds up through origins but from origins and on so far they kind of start the game as like these people are entering the animus they called it yeah um to access the memories like they start the game like that but then i went through like dozens you know a couple dozen hours before that part of the story came back so that yeah. could have just been me dragging my feet on the game or yeah. um it's definitely no, spread out was, a bit that was the same with odyssey it spread it out way more with odyssey yeah okay yeah, like with the uh, the first couple, like one, two, like it seemed like every other fucking scene was yeah. uh, animus, like the real life, and then going back. Mm -hmm. I think they become more aware as the series has gone on that like people aren't right. playing it for the present day stuff. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, it was it was a cool kind of niche thing. Yeah, right. but nobody cares. It got old. It got Seriously. real old real quick. <laughs> yeah. I see, just want to see his violence. Give me a Spartan right. kicking game. That's all I want. <laughs> you know, and it's like I, I yeah. like, like I like that like whole... Wes said. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Chris. Go no, ahead. sorry. Yeah. It's like I like I like the whole sci-fi thing. I'm more of a sci-fi guy as mm -hmm. it is. Um, yeah, but I feel like that I hear that that same complaint is that how they implemented it was very boring and not interesting. It's not like you were, uh, as I said in the trailer reveal. Uh, the Assassin's Creed, <laughs> yeah, uh, man, guy, yeah. <laughs> in future, in future time, I think that would be interesting. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I think for me, if if I were to play this game, the one thing I would want out of it would be just solid, like gameplay mechanics. You know, real tight, not a lot of, um, like, because I've I've watched reviews on, on some like on Odyssey. And, uh, a few other things and, you know from from what, what i remember hearing some of the games got very just like fetch quest repetitive a lot of the same stuff like i like you can have some sameness because it's you can't have different everything yeah but i definitely want like solid gameplay i would want you know an interesting not cliche story you know, unless that's kind of like the trope of the Assassin's Creed games. Mm. You know, like I said, I'm just going in blind and don't really know a lot of the backstory. Um, no, you're you're gonna get solid gameplay. I think that's the, the biggest thing they have going for them. Um, and the the aesthetic of the worlds has just been incredible to me, anyway, in my yeah. opinion. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, is there any any other aspects of like the trailer that you guys want to touch on before we? Uh... Uh, yeah, the uh, this like the sound effect of like the longboat going through the water was just badass. I mean yeah. that that more, more than anything actually got me. So that, oh yeah, yeah. Kind of into the detail of it. Yeah, that that trailer in itself was just very well done. Like the the sound, I loved the transitions between how they made you think. When the the guy was like he had his shield up and he was raising his axe and he like swung down at an enemy but then it like um, swapped to him like playing with his play fighting with his kid like those those transitions I thought were really cool because they were, like the the king character was trying to make it all seem like they're all uh, 
it's just these ruthless killers and to a certain degree they are but but you know like the trailer kind of showed like viking life compared to what the other outside world saw from them as they came in this massive raiding force to basically fuck their world up you know so i, I think that's the one thing that i would be interested in is if they actually did give like some of the some nods to the non-violence of the how, how they their home life is you know to kind of balance out the just the the blood and the gore and the over the top yeah cut limbs and stuff. Mm -hmm. there is a uh like a 30 minute 20 minute video that ubisoft put out right after the trailer went out about like some of the things that you can expect in the in yeah the game like uh like I said the longhouse building um building your own settlement is like your home base oh i didn't know that uh was one <laughs> thing that they talked about that's new that's cool you know, <laughs> just a few other things like i said stuff like that sounds cool to me yeah um like exactly said, I'll, I'll i'll try the jet demo out when it comes out you know if it if i think man this is pretty awesome then you know i may get it but like drew said i might wait until it's black friday or you know it, it drops down to you know a good sale you know 30 affordable yeah, yeah. Too affordable <laughs> Not, it'll eventually be 10. yeah that's, they all do that's, yeah right oh, i just realized we lost ron i'm just here for the violence for the violence yeah and... that's that's like that's why i play those games it's just like, that, that, that oh. does make me that's wonder a little bit i don't i don't play them to build a house i play them because i'm like i need well, to get some aggression out down. so i'm yeah. gonna play this game where i'm a big burly scandinavian man and i am going to fuck up some shit yeah well that's that's what i'm wondering is like how deep are they gonna go with the the violence aspect like are they gonna go full viking and be like all right time to go on a mission just raid a city of or a village full of just innocent people and just take all their stuff blood eagle like, yep, killing, time like, to blood eagle you know all <laughs> the same right. people yeah it's just uh i i'm not like i mean if they do it great but it's, it's just like i don't know i'm wondering how big of a risk they're when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, because you know there's it, gonna be people who aren't into that. Oh, for it, sure. It, you know, they don't want to go as far as like Mortal Kombat goes. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Or do you? Or do they? <laughs> I'd be all over that. No, I I think judging by the trailer, if they can recreate that level of um, warfare, at least in the combat system, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I think it'll be satisfying. Um, like. The other game that comes to mind is is the new God of War that came out, which is also set in, uh, you know, Norse mythology. Like, yeah, I uh, I started playing that and I probably got like eight eight ish hours in. Yeah, I set it down and haven't gone back to it. I need to yeah finish it. I, I heard that's it's, what happened to me. That one's on I got my to list. a puzzle I couldn't solve, and I was like, I'm done. Like, yeah. <laughs> right? I'm frustrated. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna play anymore. I'm done. Yeah, I haven't even started it yet. Oh, but, man. Uh, no, like JJ, I'm. I'll. I'll wait until I see like the actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. See, you said that's see coming some reviews. out like tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow. So, so Seven. I'll wait for that because, because yeah, they can make any game look badass in, yep. in, a, in a trailer, but until I see the actual gameplay, I, I, I won't be like a hundred percent sold on it. Okay. <laughs> Anthem. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Even, I will uh, even No Man's Sky uh, when it first came out, though that game, oh, yeah. that's that's a whole another discussion. That's oh, a god, I that's felt a glam hard up right that. there. That, that is a long way. That is a glam up. Um, all right, guys, final thoughts before we uh, we uh, or uh, uh, stop. I just got one. Yeah, What's I just up? got one. Uh, if in the game I'm I'm getting my ass kicked by the big guy, and the rest of my fucking Vikings are just standing around watching this shit, not jumping in, nah, I'm done. Fuck that, you that, that's about <laughs> honor. That's about honor, my man. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, uh, I, I one, I think it's been it's great that um, you know we've been able to get back together and uh, kind of talk this stuff out. I know we took kind of a extended hiatus on. Uh, that's that was my stuff. my fault. So. But hey, well, not even a fault. You know, life life takes precedence before a hobby. You know, you had to graduate <laughs> computer. Just yeah, and your computer is just <laughs> yeah. taking crap. Yeah. You know? um, <laughs> but uh, but one last thing. Uh, Boots says that she loves us and she misses us. Aw. And to say hello. She, uh, uh, yeah, she, she. Uh, I guess she overslept, but she'll be on the next one. Um, yep. But uh, uh, Mike, uh, 
said he 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 wants it to lean somewhere. Uh, the the new game he wants it to lean somewhat into the mythology side of things like they did with Odyssey, and I, I couldn't agree more. That's what I'm hoping that they're gonna bring a little bit different than they have with the the past games, is um like the the mythology with like Loki, Odin, and um you know all all this all this stuff like the spiritualism that comes with it, and they could easily do that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for too. Uh, JJ, final thoughts? Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm excited. I won't play for a long time. Like I said, I'm working my way through the series, so I got a handful. I think the next one on my list is Assassin's Creed Four Flag, which is apparently a, one of the better ones in the series as well. It's a big game. Um, yeah, I'm I'm super excited to get into it because uh, I loved Assassin's Creed Three, and I heard that was one of the weaker ones. So uh, though I played the remastered one, which had a lot of quality of life changes. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm I think it looks great, and I can't wait to see the gameplay footage. And uh, I love you guys. Yes. Love you. I love all of you too. <laughs> uh, Nick, final yeah, thoughts? Nick, fuck yourself. So I'm going to try and make it brief. There's two things I really want to see in this game. And it sounds silly, but I got to see it. One is a blood eagle. Has to happen. <laughs> yep. Agreed. Um, yeah. for, for those of you who, do, who don't know what that is, look it up. Um, or don't, if you don't want to be. Just not at work. Not at work. Or all over yourself. <laughs> don't, don't listen to them. Uh, <laughs> the second thing is, um, I want to see a scene from the show Vikings reenacted in that game. The uh, scene is, I'm, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and not spoil it for anybody, but there's a scene in one of the seasons where a Viking character is taken prisoner, and his last request is, you know, he doesn't want to have his hair. Uh, chopped off when he has his head cut off mm -hmm. so the english um guard pulls his hair up while he's got his head on the chopping block and then the last fell swoop he pulls his head back and the guard gets his hands cut off ah uh, yeah i have seen that which i think is uh. i think is like one of the funniest things i've seen in television history <laughs> just like the troll <laughs> in that yeah it's just like it's really funny like, you gotta I see got it. you yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he has one final laugh before they take his head. It's hysterical. Um, you gotta see it. It's it's one of the best scenes I've ever seen in cinema. Jeez. Um, I would love to see that reenacted in this game. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I agree. I agree. Man. I remember that scene now. So yeah, it's really funny. And this 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 trailer alone makes me want to go back through and watch that show again. So I think I'm gonna do. It's my next show. So I'm almost done with Stargate again, but uh, For, you watched it. Stargate again. Yep. This is nice. like the fiftieth time in yep. a row, my guy. Yep, I'm almost this through with. It. Yeah, uh, Drew, what this about is a you, nice man? And short series. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll like I said, it looks the trailer looks cool. I'll have to wait till I see like actual gameplay, and yeah. then if I do get it, it won't be until. It's either on sale on the PSN store or it's ten dollars at you know Meyer or Walmart or Best Buy or whatever your local store is. Gotcha. Well, I uh, think that's everyone, right? We all kind of round yeah. table round. Except I would, except I for would Ron. Also... Oh yeah. yeah, Ron's Ron's phone died. Um, press Ron, F, Ron press says, F for said, respect. Yeah, he just said he wouldn't play it. Yeah, he's no, like, I don't really like Vikings. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this game looks stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would also guess that, that when it before it comes out, the um, we will probably see if you're a PS Plus member, we'll probably see uh, either Origins or um, uh, Odyssey as the uh, game of the month. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I, that that makes sense. Mean. And speaking of those, you can still find them every other sale for around fifteen bucks. Um, totally nice. worth it completely worth it but uh that's gonna be it for us tonight um i want to thank uh first off uh all of uh, you guys here um this is uh really kind of uh filled a hole in my heart so hoping hey uh, we filled wes's yeah, heart you filled my hole you filled wes's hole yeah so um i i, I love i uh i definitely yeah, lo look forward to to doing this um <laughs> doing this more in the future um yes so we will uh uh and then uh, of course everyone thank you for uh watching this uh those of you who have been typing the chat uh, it adds a completely new element to the podcasting experience and, and and i love it so um 
uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, for interacting with us on chat. We've always wanted to do something like this, but uh, never got around to it. And uh, again, my fault. Too busy with life. So um, look forward to uh, more more of this to come. Um, Going to keep the biweekly schedule, and uh, uh, we will. So we'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, probably around a Tuesday or Wednesday again. Uh, we'll you know haven't really discussed that far ahead yet, but. Uh, uh, Thanks again, guys, and uh, we love you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hell yeah.